600, 750 a day right now um, with those resources and be successful. But doubling that, I don't know of any community along the border that has the ability to double their services. First though, one month until the expected end of Title 42 border restrictions and local assistance groups say we are not ready to handle a huge new wave of asylum seekers. Thanks for joining us for 13 News Live at 6. I'm Brooke Wagner. And I'm Dan Maris. A massive surge in border crossers is likely when Title 42 restrictions end. The policy that has allowed the U.S. to turn away millions of asylum seekers is due to expire when the public health emergency ends on May 11th. Pima County has opened up a big new site to assist asylum seekers. It's in a former call center near Drexel and Interstate 10. New at 6, 13 News reporter Bud Foster just got a look inside and joins us live. Bud, what did you see there? Well, a lot. I'll tell you that this is the uh, the Drexel Welcoming Center is what they call that. It's very hard to see from the street. Uh, it's wrapped, as you can see here, and they do that for security uh, purposes because 400 to 600 uh, asylum seekers pass through these gates every day. And as you said, once the May 11th comes and the health emergency goes away, that could rise to as many as 1,500, maybe even 1,600 every day, and that could be a nightmare. We receive everybody at this location. That includes families, that includes women and children and, and single men. But we shelter overnight the single men at this location. Because single men don't necessarily need the privacy that families do. So families go to a hotel or a Casa Elitis. Drexel is set up to hold 150 single men who may spend the night and it is always full. About 85% of the single men who are with us are from India. India today, Russia and Ukraine before that, Central America two years ago. Turmoil continues to shift the need for asylum. The only constant here is a continued increase in numbers coming to Pima County, expected to increase from about 600 a day now to 1,500 a day after May 11th. It's difficult because we know that 1,500 is not an obtainable number for shelter services in Tucson, and there's not much we can do to grow a capa up to that capacity. The resources simply do not exist. Resources which are already strained, even though the county, using federal money, opened Drexel, adding another 63,000 square feet. It's not just space that is a constant concern here. We've had to make some big shifts in in the type of food that we're serving because you know six months ago we had folks who wanted to eat pork and beef and and just a few vegetarians now we have a shift because indian men are generally vegetarian so they are being accommodated here and catholic community services is very well aware of religious differences which are also on display here it's a constant effort to keep up and change as circumstances demand i think we've tracked it to having 79 different languages that have been spoken by the guests who come to us. They have gone to all 50 of the U.S. states as part of their journeys. This is the last leg of that journey, which may have taken weeks. Some will stay here only a few hours, maybe a day, at most two days, until their travel arrangements are made and they will be off to meet with family or sponsors as they await their hearing date assured they are COVID free. The first thing is everybody who joins us gets a COVID test. And the folks who are COVID positive have the opportunity to go to a COVID positive hotel where they'll have quarantine time here in Tucson and medical oversight. Now, Pima County leased this 63,000 square feet for $330,000 for six months, says it has the option to extend that lease if it needs to. And the way things look right now, they will really need to. Down, down on the south side at I-10, I-19, and Drexel, I'm Bud Foster, 13 News.